reassuring you that you got your back. What did that conversation mean to you from your perspective? Uh, it meant a lot. You know, I just got to talk to my agent and telling him that um, the way him, Tim, and the whole coaching staff been, you know, um, just telling me stick with it. You know, everybody go through a slump. You know, uh, you'll get through it. You know, that meant a lot to me. Taking on the mentality of when you're not making shots, finding other things to contribute, how has that played a role in the product that you brought? Uh, I played great. I mean, uh, you got to do more. I understand if I ain't making shots, you know, I got to step it up on the defense end and just do whatever I can to help the team win. Do you feel that same support that you just said from Malone and Tim? Do you feel that from your teammates? Yeah, I do. You know, uh, everybody just been congratulating me and, you know, they seen that I've been down. You know, it's hard to, you know, uh, keep your head up when you're going through a slump like I was. But um, just having them there, it meant a lot to me. What do you, how, how do you get yourself out of a slump like that? Do you just doing your thing, not think about it? Yeah, I mean, it's it's easier said than done. I mean, you got to keep your head, you know, stick with it, and uh, continue to work. You know, I've been staying in the gym with, uh, with Bunny. You know, he's been helping me. Steve, Popeye, all of them been in my ear, you know, and uh, I really appreciate it. I wasn't thinking, you know, I was just in position. And, um, <laughs> I was just there. So did you just fall over? I mean, if you're not thinking. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, uh, I seen them coming. And once I seen them jump in the air, get off their feet, you know, I just stood there and took it. To have Coach Malone call you out in a good way mm -hmm. in those huddles and say, thank you for sacrificing your body and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Does that give you a little bit more encouragement, I guess, to do it again? Or what are you thinking when he does that? No, uh, just kept me going. Uh, Really wanted to win tonight. You know, we had some bad losses this season. Had a lot of injuries. Got a lot of stuff going on. Been a lot of adversity, but um, just got to stick with it. What are you thinking when when Joker's going crazy in overtime? Jake, Joker always going crazy. So in my mind, I'm just telling him to take over. You know, I felt like he kind of passed up a couple shots. Um, kind of get a, a little unselfish. You know, and sometimes we need him to be selfish, especially in crunch time. What is this? I mean, you say you always is doing it. Mm -hmm. Man, I feel like 2K got to have him in 99, everything. Yeah. Like, it's crazy how his touch around the basket. Like, it, it, I just feel like every shot around the basket is going to go in. When he took over in, in overtime specifically, mm -hmm. right? are you, is that what you expected him? Are you surprised? Most definitely. Most definitely. Um, I always expect for him to, to take over. I expect for him to win MVP again. You know, uh, just the best bid. He really is. He's so skilled, man. He's just crazy. You coming in and, and being the big guy in that second unit a lot mm -hmm. of the times. I mean, tonight you spent time on Valanciunas. Does it give you a, a, an appreciation for what Nicole has to do kind of on both ends of the floor, being in that role? Um, just watching him from the bench. That's how you appreciate Yoke. You know, just see the things he do. The passes, the more. Um, he hit two spin moves. He hit a spin move. Picked the ball up, hit another spin move again, and made it to put us up. Man, it's just, it's just crazy. How does he act when he when he hangs 39, 11, and 11? Uh, how does he act in the post game locker room? Normal, quiet, smiling. Uh, just another day in the office for him, you know. Man, he's just great. He's great. And um, you expect him to do great things, and it's just normal to him. With, with the amount of injuries that you guys have had, is the sentiment around the team still like, we got him. Mm -hmm. So, just most definitely, man. As long as Joke out there with us, you know everybody else just gotta do their part to step up to help him out. You know he gonna come in, he gonna bring it. Uh, I think the bench had thirty-two tonight. Mm -hmm. um, what do you guys have to do to, to replicate that? Obviously, the bench been inconsistent mm -hmm. so far this year, but like you can replicate performances like this and help balance him out. With it. Most definitely, we just gotta stick with it. Like we are, biggest thing we've been talking about in the locker room is just being consistent. You know, it's been an up and down year for us right now. We're battling injuries and, you know, uh, it's always just the next man up mentality. You know, we're we a tough team. We are a talented team, a deep team. So we just got to come out there and stop thinking so much and just play basketball. Do you notice anything interesting about the way the Pelicans tried and did not succeed to defend uh, Jokic? I mean, I see it every night. I feel like every team tries to guard him, but they didn't really double him and over. Yeah. I mean, that's up to the coach on their side, but we happy that they ain't double team because we're going to go to him every time. You know, we're going to force him to double team and 
that's that's up to other players to make shots. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like we, we all put the work in and we all can knock down those shots. We just gotta do it. I mean, to follow up on that question, do you see him like process the defense and then adapt and, and for sure. Like is he manipulating the defense? Man, he, uh <clears throat> he's one play late in the uh, fourth quarter before going overtime. He just flattened everybody out, you know, set a pick and roll and went to work. Like he sees the floor. He um he knows what's coming. And he, he know what certain plays to run. It's crazy. One quick one on the Zoom. Go ahead, Joel Rush. Hey, Jim Michael. Uh, you drew a couple charges tonight. You seem to kind of like a physical style of defense. Uh, do you think the rules changes this season have kind of facilitated you being able to play defense more the way you like it? Um, I'm not sure. I still be getting a lot of foul calls. So, I mean, um, from Alabama, you know, it's football state. Grew up playing football, so I love the physicality. You know, I love to take on bigger players and show them just as strong as well. So, I know I take pride in that. Appreciate it.